Well, hello there. Uh, no better way to start out YouTube than to make fun of yourself and the ones you love. Because why the fuck not, right? So, I'm going to start out with, uh, blonde moments or stupid shit that you've done or that I have done. Um, and that other people have done in my life just to sort of lighten the mood because it's hot in here and I'm melting so without further ado I guess I'll start out with myself time my sister was making jello and I was like 15 16 at the time uh, helping her out because I'm a good noodle and uh, she tells me to put a measuring cup full of water in the pot on the stove so she can boil the water. And so I do that. I fill the plastic measuring cup full of water, one cup, and then for some god-awful reason I thought I was doing it right but I wasn't. Um, I put the entire plastic measuring cup with the water in it in the pot on the stove that was on. And it took me about a good minute, minute and a half to realize that this doesn't seem quite right. And so I'm telling my sister, I'm like, Sarah, don't you think that's going to melt in there? And she looks at me and she's like, well, no, you idiot. You're supposed to pour it in the pot. And I was like, oh, well, thought it was a better idea to put the whole thing in there. I guess we should get on the topic of my sister, because she is not the brightest tool in the shed. Uh, my sister was doing a project, like a history project, on John F. Kennedy, and uh, she was like in junior high at the time, and she was on the computer. This is back when computers were like the shit, when like you had one, it was this big box, and it was thick, and it was heavy, and it was portable and it was slow because there was DSL and you got mail like that shit yes that kind of computer she was looking at stuff from John F. Kennedy why am I having such a hard time saying John F. Kennedy John F. Kennedy okay then we got this um, so she is, is looking at all this uh, information like the links on Google basically and she um, got frustrated like really frustrated and my mom was asking her what's wrong and she's saying oh well I don't get it there's nothing on John F Kennedy anywhere on the internet I keep getting a guy uh, called JFK on here and that's not who I'm looking for and my mother says that is who you're looking for. <laughs> my brother can sometimes not be very bright either. Uh, my brother was doing something on the internet where he was just reading this statement that he was like agreeing to. Um, like, he, I don't know if he was applying for a job or going to school or... I really don't know what the fuck he was doing. He was doing something on a computer and at one point he didn't get this like jumble of words he was reading and my mom says we'll read it out loud so we can like make sense of this <coughs> excuse me and um so he's reading it at one point he gets this this part where it says he says i herbie agree to everything that i basically fucking signed up for blah 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 and we all were like what the fuck is herbie Zachary, what, what is Herbie? And we look at the computer screen, and it's here by. 
not Herbie. Because Herbie's a car. I recently had one. This was very recent. Like, oh, a good couple months ago. Where I, uh... I had to put a non-op on my old car. I had an old Plymouth Breeze. It was literally 17 years old. It went through two previous owners before myself. And it basically broke down one night. And at that point, it was like a no-go. It just, it just stopped working. And I had to get a new car. I had to put the new car on the insurance. Of course, I had to have full coverage. So everything's an arm and a leg now. But, um... I had to put a non-op on my old car, so I could take the old car off the insurance. And, um, I'm reading this thing on the DMV.gov bullshit. Um, and at one point I just, I didn't get it. I wasn't even drinking at this point. I was completely sober and I didn't fucking get it. And, um, I kept reading this sentence and I'm like, I don't fuck, I don't get this. I don't get it. I'm getting frustrated. I don't get it. And I read it out loud to my boyfriend, and I don't know how he's still fucking with me after nine years of him, like, putting up with this random bullshit that comes out of my mouth. But, um, I kept saying, I was like, dude, what's an affidavit? What the fuck is an affidavit? And he's like, affidavit? And I was like, Oh, okay, that makes sense, because I'm an idiot. If you ever see that word, affidavit, spelled out, it, it doesn't look how it sounds at all. It's weird. It's like the, the, the word hors d'oeuvres, which we dub horse d'oeuvres, because that's how it's spelled, and we're, we just like it that way, I guess. I don't know. Um, another one of me driving, because we all know I'm good at that, I was, um, I was in high school still. I got my permit, and, God, it's fucking hot in here, and I got my permit, and, um, I was driving in an empty parking lot on a Sunday afternoon empty. This business is closed, okay? It's empty as fuck. Um, and my mother's taking me out driving for the first time, like, ever. And I'm driving her Jeep in an empty-ass parking lot. And, um, she tells me to turn around this island, which is, like, this cement thing with the trees and the bushes and the shit in it. And so I'm like, okay. So instead of turning the Turning the wheel, turning the wheel. See, I can only do it in the car, I can't do it outside the car because I get all fucked up and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with my hands. Um, but you know how you're supposed to turn the wheel to the car the right way with your hands like this? You know, use two hands instead of one. Um, because nobody ever does that ever, anyway. Um, well, I decided to turn the wheel like this and completely fuck up the turn and run over the island. And that was like the last time my mom ever took me driving uh, before I even got my license. Because I'm not smart in, in the brain. Um, I had a friend, or I still have a friend. I have friends? I have a friend who's, a few years back I was talking to her about TV shows. And the TV show on topic was that 70s show, and she liked, and she liked the show, and I liked the show too, because it's the shit. Well, she goes on about like, oh, I wish they would like remake it, but I don't think they'd be able to get all the same people back on set. And I was like, why don't you think that? And she's like, well, they'd be pretty old by now, don't you think? And I'm like, how would they be old? And she's like, well, it was because it was from the 70s. And I said, no, it's not from the 70s. It's, it, it takes place in the 70s, but it actually was filmed in the late 90s, early 2000s. And she's like, really? Like, she didn't straight up fucking know this. 
And I was like, well, yeah, really. And she's just like, oh, okay. So there's that. Well, that's all I got on dumb blonde moments. Really? Really. If you have anything dumb or stupid that you've done or seen anybody else do and want to embarrass them, then you should comment below in, in, the, in the stuff. And if you liked this, then you can like the video or dislike the video or comment or share or, I don't know, give me a high five or something. Give me something. This is the first video I've ever uploaded to YouTube. You came really close to that tripod dog. You so I'm doing this as an experiment for myself to be less socially awkward. And if I can talk to a camera and upload it to an audience I cannot see, for everybody to see, then why can't I talk to normal people at work who I can see? And there's only like one or two of them there anyway, so that's why I'm doing it more for myself. But if you like what I have, maybe I'll upload more. But we'll see how that works out. So, until next time.